more lethal fleet with great fragility and resilience. Good afternoon, Francis. We've just been hearing the first sea ward, General Sir Gwyn Jenkins, talking about his vision for the Royal Navy. Quite um, expansive talk, very strong on automation, drones, and international cooperation and partnership of industry. What was your take? Um, all of that true. There was far more detail in General Jenkins' uh, speech than I think we had been led to believe. We know there are some quite prescriptive limitations imposed by Number 10 on what civil servants can say, including senior members of uh, the military. And the fact that we got dates, uh, you know, X capability will be in within two years. Uh, one of them, the first census for the Atlantic Bastion will be in the water next year and so forth. I have to say, I was slightly eyebrows up because um, around the rest of the show, speaking with some of the naval industries uh, over the last two hours saying, do you expect anything? They're all going, nah, not really. It'll be platitudes and got to give credit. It was not platitudes. Um, there was some pretty hard stuff there. So I've got to give absolute kudos to um, General Jenkins. Well, he certainly put down some markers in, in the water, uh, timelines, which um, his, his Navy and industry have got to deliver on. And he was um, quite quite keen on partnership to do that, even though some of these companies in the past have not delivered on, on their promises for products and services. Um, I think one of the problems General Jenkins has inherited is plans and so forth, where, especially over maintenance and so forth, the Royal Navy has been cheese pairing service support for ships and submarines for the past 15 years and so there has been very much a less than optimal support environment. I'm waiting to see when actually the Navy corporately, General Jenkins at the lead, says, okay, the budget for support is X. We now have to spend at least 50% more to get where we need it to be. And um, we come back to something you and I have spoken about repeatedly leading up to DSEI and actually I'm picking up and I'm sure you have today as well, everyone's just saying the solution to quite a lot of the problems the MOD faces is increased budget and not in two years' time, three years' time, but now. Um, he was very keen on this idea of the hybrid Navy with autonomous air, surface, underwater systems as a, a way to get combat mass by bringing in robots, uncrewed submarines, uncrewed surface vessels, uncrewed air vehicles. And those timelines are very demanding and it looks like he's got to start doing stuff right now to get these meet. Absolutely. And sorry to come back to the really boring one of finance. We will be putting, you know, unmanned surface vessels, uncrewed underwater vessels into service in the next two years. Show me the money. Industry is not going to deliver these systems for free with an IOU five years' time. Money, money, money. And we, we can't escape that. Um, so, yeah. Lovely plans. I don't disagree with the direction that General Jenkins is uh, suggesting. Far be it, he, he, he wouldn't listen to me. Um, but. You know, it does come down to cash, and this is a real, real problem. Well, on the issue of cash, we've just heard this afternoon details that um, Chancellor Rachel Reeves is coming here tomorrow on Wednesday for the Investors Summit, and um, that puts money top of the agenda at DSCI. Um, I don't know about you, Tim. I have racked my brains to try and think when a Chancellor has come to a show like DSCI. Did George Osborne go to Farnborough ever? Uh, I, I can't remember any chance was going to the Royal Navy Equipment Exhibition, British Army Equipment Exhibition. Riyadh? Uh, ultimately, I, I, I say I've racked my brains and I don't think a chancellor has ever attended a show like this. As such, that is both groundbreaking and very important. Um, it um, should be taken very seriously, but what, the budget is November the 26th? All bets are off until 
the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Rachel Reeves, sits down after the budget on November 26th. No predictions can be made. And if there has been a very, very strong message today, I've had from, what, three, four of the keynote speeches, it's, it's all about the Defence Investment Plan, and that cannot be published until the budget happens on November the 26th. Well, we will wait her arrival tomorrow with interest. Good afternoon.